Is there a place with sun all year round and pina coladas with pretty faces and sand on the ground? I wanna stop this ongoing train before I lose my mind and go insane. I don't wanna sleep every night. I want a lot of spark in the dark. I don't want to say I'm okay. Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Um, yeah. We're in the Western Star dump truck right now. Going to go get a load of stone dust because it is slick out here today. We're going to dump half of it here at the yard, half of it over at the storage. And uh, we're going to use a loader to spread it here and the back will to spread it at the storage. So, uh... Welcome to my channel. My name's Taylor. This is Ken White Construction. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Head over to our Instagram at KWC2000 to see all of our latest behind the scenes stuff that's going on. But other than that, how are you guys doing today? I'm uh, just pulling out onto Carp Road here. And uh, it is super cold. Uh, can I get a load of stone dust over here, please? Thank you. All right, well, this is the pit here. Those are all their uh, stockers. Those, uh, those belts over there. Well, there's one of their crushers over here. Um, they don't normally use that one, I don't think. Well, actually, no, they were using it this summer. But uh, if you don't know, someone who's looking at this, basically all these belts and conveyors, they're just for bringing things to different locations. Um, the, the granulars to different sites. Um, each belt would have a different style of granular on it, whether it be bigger or smaller pieces of granular. Uh, and when I say granular, I just mean rock, uh, like gravel, pretty much. But yeah, this is a, it's a fairly big outfit here. That's the stone dust pile there. Uh, the big quarry is on the other side of the pit. Uh, maybe I'll, I think I have to drive over there to get on the scale, so I'll show you guys it. But I don't want to really bug them with the camera. A lot of these guys don't really like that, so. I'm all loaded up here now. I guess I can get out now and show you guys. That's the stone dust pile where he would have loaded me from. That's the stone dust in the back. But yeah, this is uh, what the pit looks like. Basically, this is, uh, I think this is the south, they call this, no, this is the north pit, north scale. 
and that pit all the way down there. You guys will see a lot more in the summertime. But this is, I guess, just a bit of a teaser. I don't need to go down there, so I really don't want to just drive all the way down there for no reason. But I'm going to pull up to the scales here now. We just dumped that stone dust and if you're wondering why we only dumped half or I keep saying we <laughs> I don't know why uh, I only dumped half it's because I'm using half here and then half at our storage where we're going to right now um, so yeah I did my best I actually got not bad it's uh, pretty much half so I just need to clean out this uh, so I can close this tailgate So yeah, I probably only have about uh, seven ton on here right now. We're gonna head to the storage and drop off this uh, load of stone dust. And then Al's uh, actually getting in the back of right now. He's headed to a job to go uh, spread some stone dust. And uh, he'll come back and he'll spread some of that stone dust for me at the storage and uh, when I get back to the yard, I'll uh, get in the loader and I'll bring you guys with me and we'll spread some of that stone dust. I don't use the clutch at all. I just shift with the, uh, I just shift by sound really. I got a guy riding my butt. Sounds gross. But there's a guy uh, in a van behind the truck here, about two feet from me. That's one thing. If you drive a vehicle, man, like I know sometimes it sucks being stuck behind a dump truck. I'll be the first one to tell you that. Trust me, I understand. But if something ever came out from underneath, a, maybe a lodged rock or something, you don't want to be directly behind a dump truck. So. You're not going to make me go any faster by riding my ass on this. Oh yeah. I think that last little bit, I'll try to rock out of it. We've got a parade of army guys. Well, we got that stone dust over here. It's over there. And what we're gonna do is 
flip this around. We're gonna get in the old loader. And uh, we're gonna use this to spread that all over this. Second part of my day is uh, I gotta go check on Al. He's over at, uh, we got an emergency call from another uh, company that we kind of help out. They do heating and uh, heating and uh, air conditioning and they have fireplaces and HVAC stuff, stuff like that. And uh, basically they have a bit of an ice issue. So Al got in the backhoe from the storage and he's driving there now. So I'm gonna go there, meet him, get some shots of him, make sure that he's all good. He knows what's gotta be done. And yeah, just go over there and uh, touch base with Al. So we're gonna head there. All right, last segment of the day, it's minus 20. Uh, Al finished up his job they went to go look at and uh, we're gonna try to fire up this Volvo. It hasn't started all winter, so let's see what happens. Cold start. All right, we're gonna scrape some of this snow out the back of it here now. Started the Volvo and man did that thing ever have a hard time cranking over uh, it was plugged in we had it plugged in for about two hours um, but that's the first time that it had started and like I'm gonna say it's been three months since we've started that uh, so Al's just cleaning up the spot where it was right now we got it moved out and basically we need to get the head bolts replaced on it um, the head bolts came loose and we had some coolant problems so it's actually getting sent out to a mechanic to do those, um, which is kind of sucks because the head bolts are expensive for that. I think it's $1,300 just for the bolts for it. Um, but that's a price you pay to play. 
Um, so I guess that kind of wraps up all that. And a lot of really cool stuff today. So I think this is a good in, a good video. Had a lot of stuff going on in it. But uh, if you made it to the end of the video, like always, hey, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the whole video. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed for more of these videos, subscribe, hit the like button, go over to our Instagram at KWC2000. Other than that, I'm signing off for the day. I'm gonna go home and edit this now. It's about three o'clock now. Um, so thanks guys, appreciate it, and we shall see you in the next one.